What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we're taking a closer look at some of the gameplay we saw in the Esports Boxing Club uh, Fighter Announcement uh, Episode 1 and there wasn't much gameplay shown, I'm pretty much showing it on screen here, I might have to put it on repeat because it wasn't too long, I'm putting on screen pretty much every bit of gameplay that was shown whether it was pure camera or just you know kind of panning around a few people playing the game, uh, in my opinion we did get quite a lot from the little clips that we saw, uh, we're going to have a look in detail of some things you guys maybe might have missed um, and some things to well be excited towards really when it comes to this gameplay uh, so let's uh let's just jump straight into it as you guys can tell from this first clip between joe frazier and rocky marciano they're uh, obviously in the fifth round you can see they've got a stamina bar down the bottom underneath their names they've got the body of the torso and the head and then also they seem to have the heart rate of beats per minute as you see on joe's is between one i mean one 112 and 130 and then rocky's is between 70 and 80 which is which is kind of odd to see not much clue to what that means maybe it means someone came out cold maybe it means rocky has um been in the lead of the fight and joe is relatively hurt so his heartbeat has gone up but there's no red bars you can see obviously rocky's got the lower stamina but obviously there's going to be a lot to learn when it comes to that and then as you can see by rocky's head health up the top that it is completely yellow um you, you can tell obviously that's going to be it will probably go in the colors of yellow orange and red when it comes to being hurt but you can see that rocky's head health is completely yellow by the looks of things after getting caught by a few good shots it doesn't seem to change color maybe it gets a little bit darker in a sense uh, but that leads me to my next point with this next clip as you see between joe frazier and david adelaide here david adelaide's health is completely fine he has got the red bar as you see he does get rocked in that first little snippet before they cut it is two different fights as you can tell because it says this first clip as you see will be between uh, 40, 40 and 41 seconds of the first round and the next little snippet is between 48 and 49 seconds of the first round and the time is going down so these are two different clips but as you see that David Adelaide is hurt um, at the uh, in the first clip and then in the second clip you can see his head health or body health in any way is not hurt at all he just has low stamina which obviously Im implicates that there will be completely flash knockouts he you know he, other than low stamina and throwing a shot he left himself exposed just for a clean left hook to the head so there was no like you know no build up of damage as you can tell is there's now two bars which obviously the top bar is clearly for health that is not always visible unless hurt and uh, the bottom bar is clearly stamina joe frazier has got much lower stamina with a much higher heart rate as we can see but as you can see david adelaide has no head damage until that final shot where it completely knocks him out cold and now we talk about the same clip between the david adelaide and joe frazier um, we can see that um the way Adelaide falls he leans in the strike and that then his left knee just completely goes and almost ragdolls which a lot of people can say they want the mouthpiece obviously comes out as you guys can see which is just insane and uh, his whole body just just flops just ragdolls to the ground there's no preset animation by the looks of things it goes in slow-mo and his whole body drops shoulder and head first hunched over very uncomfortably which is obviously realistic which is what people have been wanting uh, i mean i think just from that this this one clip of joe frazier running at david adlay like a madman you can see so much potential in it obviously you've got joe frazier in different shorts from what he would usually wear obviously with, he doesn't have black and gold he's got pure gold and greeny yellow see david adlay um he's got the pure black with the adlay on but you can just tell by the way he falls there is going to be no preset rocked animations there possibly could for the body as that's an awkward animation to throw because some people do drop to a single knee when they get caught with a good body shot but for pure stone cold knockouts you can see that there is real no preset animation he f just falls and that is it he is just it's game over he just collapses to the ground his whole body shuts down and he's out as simple as that and i think that is in itself fucking amazing and if we go back to the joe frazier rocky clip you can see uh, in the second part where joe frazier starts to catch him with some good hooks uh, joe frazier's elbow hits the rope and you see good rope animations there which is a really good sign towards little things like rope animations and being able to do the rope dope leaning on the rope things like that and we can see the esbc and still see interactive ropes all across the board which is uh, fantastic and a good series of combinations he hits him with the the uppercut the left hook the right hook um after slipping a, a real nice i think i think that's a lead hook from from rocky uh, marciana's um no yeah sorry it's a backhand hook and then a lead jab and then a backhand hook again and uh, he goes under them he slips it he goes under it again then uppercut hook and hook again so the the striking from the first clip we saw looks so much cleaner so much more precise really 
really clean, really precise, good combos, crisp combos. And obviously this is this is pre-alpha as well. This is pre-early access. So there's so much more they can improve there. And there's so much more to, to learn. You know, like I said, you can see down the bottom the uh, all the head helps, the body helps, the stamina bars, the, the heartbeats per minute. Obviously, we've got the round, the fifth of 12. So it looks like these guys haven't really been gassing themselves out a lot with their shots. Obviously, Rocky's a little bit more uh, gas. And as you can see in Rocky's stamina, they both have gray bars of stamina. But when Rocky's throwing his shots, a white bar comes up. And then when he misses, the right white bar completely disappears. If you notice, the white bar starts to go up until he misses the jab and then uh, backhand the second backhand hook and the uh, the white bar completely goes down so whether or not you have a a full white bar of stamina and a full gray bar of stamina and then you start to slow down when that white bar is gone and it, it regens but can if you miss a shot it can completely go obviously yet as of right now we don't really know but there wasn't obviously much to go on but from this i feel like there is a lot to talk about and a lot to to look into um, so, I mean, that's pretty much all I've picked up from these clips. Obviously, you know, like I said, the bars of health and stamina bars and the uh, the head health and the, the body health. So you've got the six pieces of the abdomen there. So that could be the top of the abdomen, the left, the right, and the bottom of the abdomen, um, which obviously will probably play a major factor in each part because, you know, you can land good shots to each of those. And instead of it just being an overall body health thing, it looks like it will be a left side of the abdomen, a right side, a middle, and a, a top all, all across the board. And then, obviously, like I said in the David Adelaide and Joe Frazier clip, we saw that other than the missed shot and exposed chin, David Adelaide wasn't hurt in any way. He was just maybe rocked. Maybe that's what that flashing red bar was. He was maybe a little bit stunned, but he exposed himself and got completely caught. And there was no existing health. You can see when he gets caught, that side, the entire left side of his head, well, I suppose it's, it's the right side, should I say, of his head on the uh, little um, icon down there completely turns red when that shot lands, uh, yellow, sorry, when that shot lands, completely turns yellow, mouth guard comes out and he's out cold. Uh, but obviously, like I said, there wasn't much to show. They did have that other clip where um, they were playing on, on the sofa, but there's not really much to see there. There's very little. There's a bit of bit of movement, a bit of faint. I think is pretty much all we can really see from that. There was another bit of gameplay they showed, but they blurred out the TV. I assume that was some fighters they didn't want anyone to see yet. Um, but all in all, some really good clips with the uh, with the strike and the, with the Joe Frazier and Rocky bit, and then a really nice knockout knockout animation between Joe Frazier and uh, David Adelaide, which you know, all in all, from these what 30 seconds, maybe 30 seconds of gameplay, 20 seconds of gameplay, I think we've seen a lot. Uh, I think they've done that for a, a reason. You know, it looks like it's not a lot, but when you really look into it and we see the heart rates, the the two bars for each fighter, the the the, the six squares of abdomen, the square on the health, um, and the fact that when David Adelaide gets knocked out, the the yellow goes on the side of his head, not the bar, not the rectangle in the middle. So that rectangle in the middle is clearly going to be the front of the face, and the outline is going to be the side of the head, the top of the head, round the body. Uh, that's how I see, it anyways. Uh, but you know, lots of uh, features we saw in this one. 30 second 20 second clip of gameplay in my opinion uh, but yeah i thought i'd just do that that little breakdown there talk about the gameplay and what i saw you guys love let me know if you saw anything that maybe i missed and um yeah i'll be sure to cover it if not i'm gonna be trying to make some more videos on this huge uh, announcement that we got because it's absolutely insane i'm really looking forward to making more videos on it and um yeah that's pretty much all i saw from this guys let me know like i said if i miss anything and uh thanks as always for watching don't forget to leave a like subscribe down below and i will uh, catch you guys all in the next one peace